How do I account for spectral overlap when building spectral flow cytometry panels? In conventional flow cytometry, spillover is when the emission from one fluorophore spills into the detector assigned to another fluorophore. Using single stained beads or cells, compensation, a mathematical correction, is used to remove fluorescent spillover from secondary detectors. In spectral flow cytometry, spillover is due to the spectral overlap of different fluorophores. Data are unmixed across multiple detectors using algorithms to identify the unique signature of each fluorophore. When similar fluorophores are used together, spreading of the positive population can be observed, even after compensation or spectral unmixing is applied. Careful panel design for spectral flow cytometry requires an understanding of the cytometer characteristics and fluorochrome properties. This spread matrix, the darker red shading, indicates where one fluorophore has increased spread into the other, requiring closer attention when matching targets with fluorophores. Single color controls and fluorescence minus one controls are also essential for multicolor panel development and QC. FMOs are critical for identifying spread into the omitted fluorophore signature. The free panel builder tool from Thermo Fisher Scientific helps you to design or adapt your spectral flow cytometry panels. It generates comparison matrices and calculates complexity. As similar dyes are added, the complexity index increases. Looking for further free panel building assistance? One of our specialists is happy to help. Spectral flow cytometry. See your cells in a whole new light.